duality, in which two opposite ideas or feelings exist at the same time. In the metaphysical world, it a concept that delves into the belief of two kinds of reality, the physical and the spiritual. The field of philosophy has its own take on dualism, believing the mind and body are separate from each other. In the Skoda Engineering Department in the Czech city of Mlad Boleslav, the Octavia RS245 wagon is the automotive embodiment of dualism, a comfortable family station wagon with the ability to transform into a performance car. Reviewers past and present have praised previous incarnations of Skoda Arm Wagon, and rightly so. With its blend of space and sportiness, the Octavia RS and Station Wagon guys ticked an awful lot of boxes. Space for the whole family? Yeah, practical and comfortable interior appointments? You bet. A supple and comfortable daily driver in the stop-start environment of most urban enclaves to write. The ability to transform into a bone fine performance car when the desire kicks in? Absolutely. Now, perhaps of the belief that too much of a good thing is never enough, the Czech brand has added even more mumbo to what was already a considerable performance package to usher in the Skoda Octavia RS245, the most powerful Skoda Octavia ever. You can get into Skoda take on the Leaper family wagon for a smidgen over $40k, the standard RS asking for $40,390 plus on road costs. This, though, is the alpha male of the range, and as such commands a premium. How much of a premium? Try around 10% with the RS245 variant kicking off at $44,890 plus on roads. Note, those prices are for the manual variants. If your preference is for the engagement of paddle shifters, or if you prefer to let the Skoda do its own thing, then you will be asked to lay down an additional $2,500 for the DSG equipped RS245. Which is exactly what we have on test here, the RS245 wagon with the DSG dual clutch gearbox that starts at $47,390 plus on road costs. Of course, it's difficult to roll out of the showroom without adding some ink to the options boxes. And our test car is no different, carrying the Tech Pack 2000. $1,500, Luxury Pack $1,500, and Automatic Boot Opening Function $500, bringing the S-tested price to $51,690 plus on road costs. That just $300 cheaper than the latest tempter from Skoda Volkswagen Group Stablimate, the Golf or Grid Wagon that asks for $51,990 before on roads, with the added benefit of all-wheel drive over the Octavia FWD platform. Drawing parallels between the Octavia and Golf IS and entirely coincidental, with the Czech brawler performance chops underpinned by the Group EA8 88 2.0-liter turbocharged engine lifted from the Golf GTI Performance Edition 1. It good for 180 kilowatts and a lusty 370 Nm of torque, enough to wrestle the wagon from 000 km per hour in 6.7 seconds. While that 0.5 seconds slower than the donor car, it worth noting that at 1425 kilograms, the Skoda carries a touch more pork 73 kilograms than its three-door, hot hatch second cousin. They're a maturity to the Skoda RS245, a maturity that only a station wagon can bring to the table. Sure, from the outside it looks pretty mean sitting on those 19-inch alloys, the styling of which you all either love or hate personally, I love. The total absence of chrome highlights of any kind on the outside other than the Skoda and Octave RS nameplates adds to the air of menace. Its sporty theme continues inside, with a swath of black Alcantara nicely contrasted with seemingly endless lines of red stitching and highlights. The electrically adjustable front seats feel like the embrace of an old lover soft, comforting, supportive. The leather wrap steering wheel is a lovely thing in hand and again features the RS245 signature contrast red stitching. There are decidedly upmarket feel to the RS245 interior, and that feeling extends to the infotainment system. Central to the Skoda interior is the excellent 9.2-inch touchscreen that offers an array of functions and connectivity via a remarkably intuitive user experience. The only annoyance with the system involves the fiddly touchscreen volume controls, an increasing feature in modern cars. See on the world car makers, if you want to give us one dial, make it a volume control one. Please, can cost more than a few bucks. Surely, their Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for those who prefer to interact via their smartphones, while the Bluetooth connection is amongst the best this rider has experienced, with fast initial pairing and subsequent repairing that almost seem to defy physics. Open the door, slide inside, 
hit the stop start button and before you can cast your eyes on the touch screen, your smartphone is connected and the Bluetooth audio is crystal clear too, according to the several people I talked to while driving to keep road rage at bay in theory, the LED ambient lighting can be configured with a choice of 10 colors, although there are plenty of clever little touches that just make you smile from the flock door bends to the umbrella stashed neatly in its own holster from the dual zone climate control and the twin rear USB ports from the rubber mat in the boot and the split fold rear seats with handy ski port and the glove box is cooled won't keep your ice creams from melting but it will keep your bottle of water nicely chilled practicalities abound with hooks nets and tethers all playing their part in keeping your stowed goodies in place that boot too is the reason for this car being the reason a buyer would opt for this the wagon over the similarly priced and spetched sedan rs245 